What's up guys, just getting of another project because I don't have enough projects in my life. We're going to take the drivetrain out of that 04 GMC four wheel drive, put it in that 91 Grand Wagoneer. As you read in the title, my goal to LS swap my Jeep is $1,500. So far, we've got this beauty of a truck here. It's an 04 GMC 1500 regular cab, long bed, four wheel drive. It's got a 4.8 uh, 4L60E and a NP261 transfer case, which is a driver's side drop. And we're going to try to put it in my 91 Grand Wagoneer. It's got the a AMC 360 uh, 727 transfer transmission and a 229 transfer case. So since it's 229 transfer case, it's driver's side drop also. First goal was to get this running. And originally, I thought that the guy who towed it to his scrapyard had punched a hole in the gas tank. So I started pulling a gas tank from another Jeep to go ahead and get it ready for fuel injection, as you'll see right here. But after messing around with this truck, um, we determined that there was no hole in the gas tank. There was, however, a fuel leak, and you'll see that right here. Alright guys, I think I found my leak. Uh, all the original fuel lines were rotted and rusted. That's the original one right there, so they had some fuel injection hose and a hose clamp hooked up to right here. And underneath this fuel injection hose had apparently rubbed on a pinch weld or something and it cut and they tried to duct tape it and apparently that didn't work. So what I'm going to do is replace some or all of this hose so we can get this thing fired back up. All right, once we got the fuel figured out, uh, we also determined that the guy that towed it from its accident also cut the cats off, but we were able to get everything running, as you'll see right here.
so let's talk budget. Um, my budget is $1,500, plain and simple. Uh, I think I can do it for that. Um, so far, I've got $500 invested in the truck. Uh, bought an eBay fuel pump for like 30 bucks. I've already sold the carburetor, the original 2150 carburetor that was on my Jeep for 250, I'm sorry, 150 bucks. And I'm trading the running 360 that's in my Jeep for a set of LS swap motor mounts. Uh, I know I'm still going to have to have drive shafts, fuel line, little stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to end up running HP tuners. I'm not going to include that in the cost of this. Uh, I will include the cost of the credits in my budget. So the next step is going to be to start paring the wiring down on the 4.8, uh, just the necessities of what I need. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can catch the next episode.